Uh, Roger Faulkner. Uh, I live in Hyde Park, Ontario, and uh, now I reside um, for 12 hours every day in Hensel. Been in this industry since uh, 1968, uh, which is pretty much my entire life. Came as a sales manager, and then uh, in 2003-2004, I took over as president. And in 2009, I bought the company. Uh, the rest is a little bit history. Been in Hensel for a long time. 1950 is when this place opened, and it, which makes us the only existing Canadian RV manufacturer that is still in the same location where we started. When I got involved in the industry in 1968, there were 84 different manufacturers producing RVs in Canada. Today there are six. The RV industry died in Canada over that period of time I just alluded to. And for a Canadian manufacturer, I believe you have to think outside that box every time you come, every day you come to work. And if we had stayed on the same course we were on for 40 or those 60 years, uh, we wouldn't be here today. We changed uh, the course of the company really back in about 2005. Uh, we got out of the RV industry, RV, building RVs. And we built uh, a product called Park Morals. And we became one of the best in that particular side of our industry. Uh, there's only two of us building that particular product today, and we happen to be five miles apart. How we got into the export business, again, we we're looking for unique products and unique markets that uh, our other friends are not running at. And, you know, I have this thing that if you're going to be in business, you have to find a room that there, it's not very crowded. Uh, the less crowd that's in there, you have a better chance of making it, and even more so if you're a Canadian manufacturer. So we, uh, we were lucky enough to run into a company in Wales who approached us to build a particular product for them, and it's a product that is catered to the movie industry. Uh, theatrical trailers, we call them. And they're really units for the folks to have a cup of tea between shoots, uh, have us somewhere to have a shower between shoots. Uh, they don't reside in them. Uh, this company has stuck through as, with us through thick and thin. Um, and I believe the reason for that is that we as Canadians build better product. Uh, we're known as building better product. Uh, and uh, so we've reinvented ourselves for them. We've reinvented their product. And uh, they want to be the best in Europe. And with our help, they're going to be the best in Europe. And they also want to be the biggest in Europe. With our help, we're going to take them to that step as well. So we need to bring not only young people, we just need to bring people that want employment back to Huron County. I think a plus is that you know we're in a farm community, and uh, you know not to label people, but uh, our workforce is pretty talented. Um, without them, we wouldn't be here. Uh, they're pretty important to us. Uh, you know, you and I were talking earlier. I think something like 15 or 20 percent of our workforce are women. Uh, and, uh, you know, I made a comment to you earlier that if a woman walked in that door, she's got a job because we've had unbelievable success with hiring women. We're happy with everyone we have and we would continue to pursue that. But the biggest problem is finding people, for sure. The fact that uh, the workforce that is here are talented, they know how to swing a hammer, they have grew up with it, uh, we don't have to train them that much. Uh, it's just a lack of them, that's our, that's our problem. I don't want to build the same thing that's already in the marketplace. I want to be unique, I want to be the best, uh, and I want to stand back when I'm all done and be proud of what we've done.